welcome Blake's, uh, not gonna say that word without getting busted here, but welcome Blake. Just getting started here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is uh, the top gifter I'm gonna draw into a cartoon and put into my next book. And then the, uh, the next few gifters are gonna get uh, oops, I gotta turn this around. Turn it around. Here in mode. And then the next top gifters will get a Dead Babies uh, fridge magnets. So I have a few of these to give away. And, uh, you know, fridge magnets. You know how fridge magnets roll. So um, if you want me to draw, have you drawn into my next book, be the biggest gifter on today's live stream. Uh, if you're not the highest, but you are a top gifter, I will send you a Dead Babies uh, fridge magnet. That's okay. You don't have to gift. I'm here to answer questions. I'm here to have fun. We're going to read some books. We're going to do some crazy things. Um, happy to answer any questions you might have. And then I'm going to grab a book or two and we're going to do some stories. Dead babies, fridge magnets to the top gifters. There you go. I legit bought all your books on Amazon for Christmas gifts. Best ever. Well, thank you very much, HDA queen. Uh, my first uh, H HD, HD queen. I'm trying to figure out how to say that. I just followed you back. What was your first children's book? My first children's book was uh, Why Daddy Hits Mommy. I'm just going to go... Grab, thanks. I like the Plastic Man glasses too. I'm just going to go grab a book and I'm going to read it to you. All right, here we go. My name is Brad Goss and I write children's books. Ba Ba Black Sheep deals with another routine stop. Ba Ba Black Sheep, please step out of the car. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please, no, I'm unarmed. Do you know why I stopped you today? Because of the fur color I display. You match the description of a suspect I seek. Funny, it's the fourth time to happen this week. I profiled you because you are black. And you drive a Mercedes, which seems kinda whack. Either this car is stolen or you make too much money. A drug dealer or car thief and neither is funny. I need to justify this routine stop. So that everyone thinks that I'm a good cop. For my safety, put your hands behind your back. Since I can't find anything else, I planted some. Well, you know how it ends, so uh, we'll just leave it at that. That was Baba Black Sheep deals with another routine stop. My name is Brad Goss, and I write children's books. Top gifter today gets drawn into my next book. Top gifters today will get dead babies fridge magnets. That's right, you can put them on your fridge. H de gay H D how do I say your name? Is it H D G A G A Queen? Or is it I don't know what it is. But thank you for the big love. Right now you are currently the top gifter, which means you will have a cartoon drawn of you and you will be added to my next book. Uh, and then the next highest gifters 
will get dead babies fridge magnets mailed to them to put on their refrigerator, hopefully next to their family picture. Welcome to my basement. My name is Brad Goss and I write children's books for children. And uh, the next one I'm going to read is Insomniac and Friends, The Clowns That Put You to Sleep. I will remind you, the top gifters today will receive Dead Baby's Fridge Magnets in the Mail. That's right. Dead Baby's Fridge Magnets in the Mail. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> yeet Yeet likes to watch you sleep. Pickles under your bed he creeps. Switchblade eats your favorite stuffies. Pedo lures you away with puppies. Shifty plans to collect your teeth. Twisty smells your hair while you sleep. Clammy lives inside his van. Hank once had to kill a man. Tootie smells your dirty socks. Busby laughs at electric shocks. Touchy hides beneath your stairs. Bubbles constantly overshares. Twinkles spends the night robbing graves. Fappy keeps a few human slaves. Pogo appears in your bathroom mirror. Tongue's intentions couldn't be clearer. Tito waits outside your house. Jeff will bite the tail from a mouse. Insomniac and Friends, The Clowns That Put You Asleep, Put You To Sleep, is available on Amazon. My name is Brad Goss. Welcome to my basement where I write children's books and entertain children around the world through my TikTok channel. Uh, today's highest gifters will be drawn into my next book. How cool is that? And I will mail you a dead baby's fridge magnet. Just like that. Or like that. It's a dead baby's fridge magnet. It just goes on your fridge. So today's new book that came in is called Your Life is a Lie. Your parents created a false reality. There's actually a lot more pages to this book than uh, I could put in a one minute TikTok video. So let's see if we can do the whole thing without violating community guidelines. Brad, how long does it take to make your books? It depends. Sometimes an hour, sometimes a few weeks, depending on how much custom artwork there is and uh, if there's any custom artwork at all. Unicorns aren't real. Buckle in. I'm about to hit you in the feels. Tooth fairies are completely fake. You found mom's money when you were awake. Nobody knows why they pay for your teeth with cash. Old teeth are gross. They wind up in the trash. Easter celebrates the day Jesus died. We told stories of bunnies and chocolate. Who knows why? WTF is a leprechaun anyway. Nobody has a fairy godmother, okay? Daddy's boyfriend was never your Uncle Todd. Cupid is a total fraud. No one ever built an ark to save the species. If you make a funny face, it will never freeze. Dragons aren't real with their mouths ablaze. Thanksgiving wasn't really the happiest of days. We know there aren't any real fairies, and we're pretty sure there's no such thing as zombies. There's no such thing as a five-second rule. Making up Santa Claus was extra cruel. Hop 
and skip and count to three. Mom and Dad created for you a false reality. It's time to swallow your real world pills. Get ready for a life of paying taxes and bills. Your Life is a Lie is available on Amazon. My name is Brad Goss. Welcome to the live show. You're in my basement. We are reading children's books. This is where I create my children's entertainment network uh, that is now here on TikTok. What's up, Farah? What are you doing to me, Brad? You're saying there are no fairies. Did you ever go to college? Uh, no, I am a 10th grade high school dropout. Um, so welcome to my basement. I will answer any questions you have between book writing. Today's top gifters will receive a dead baby's fridge magnet and uh, probably some other stickers and things. So um, how cool is that? Uh, if you are so inclined to give up some of your iTunes money or whatever it is, however it is you get money into TikTok. I don't even know how that works. PayPal, whatever it is you do, uh, feel free to make donations and I will draw you into my next book and or send you a dead baby's fridge magnet. I love your books. Thank you so much. Um, whoa, look at that. Sunglasses. Good job, IDGAF artist. I don't give a fartist. Can you say, hi, Kenzie, please? Hi, Kenzie, please. Do I have a P.O. box? Funny, you should ask. I am working on a P.O. box. Thank you, Rose Clever, for the pandas. Thank you, HDGA Queen, for the big loves. Remember, top gifters today, get a dead baby's fridge magnet. I have like 50 of these to give away. So I'm not going to give them all away today, but I have a bunch to give away. I also am going to draw you into my next book if you're one of the top gifters on today's live stream. I'm going to read another book. How does that sound? Does that sound good? Any other questions I can answer? Hi, Riley. Any other questions I can answer? When were you born? In the 70s. Rose, clever. Thank you so much for the TikToks. Uh, I should make sure that I'm following you. I don't recognize your username. You must be new. You are. I now follow you back. I always try to follow back everybody who gifts me. I think... Uh, who else am I following? Who else do I need to follow? HDGA Queen, I am following you. Thank you so much for the gifting. Can I be you for Halloween? Absolutely. Or you could be a dead baby for Halloween. Even better. Uh, my favorite Marvel and DC character. Favorite Marvel character is Spider-Man slash Venom. Favorite DC character is Superman. Rose Clever, thank you so much. More TikToks. You are probably going to wind up with a dead baby's fridge magnet for all this gifting, uh, as will HDGA Queen, who I think is the top gifter right now. Nation Greg is here. Welcome, Nation Greg. He is also providing gifts. Nation Greg, high gifters today will receive a dead baby's fridge magnet. How weird is that? You can put it on your fridge with your family pictures. Uh, and... Uh, top gifter today will receive, um, will be drawn into my next book. I will have a cartoon made of you or whoever you ask me to make a cartoon of, and they will be featured in a page or a couple of pages in one of my next books. So I'm going to read from the black suit is my favorite Spider-Man suit, hands down. The symbiote Spider-Man black suit is, is my, my favorite. Brad, I'm going to see my friend from Colorado. I haven't seen him for three months. That's pretty cool, Robert. Time to dump my credits, lol. Let's do it. Bring the gifting on. You will get. For sure, you'll get a dead baby's fridge magnet. All right, I'm going to read from the 14 of the most terrible children's books ever written, which is, by the way, if you're going to get a Brad Goss book, uh, I love talking about myself in the third party. If you're going to get a Brad Goss book, this is the Brad Goss book to get because it has the most Brad Goss books in one. So it's the best way. Thank you, Rose Clever. I appreciate you. Thank you, Nation Greg. I appreciate you. We're going to read a book. And it's going to be called... It's going to be called... Conjoin Twins! Do -do 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 -do. Where does one end and the other begin? Conjoin Twins! Do -do 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 -do. So many unanswered questions. 
If one commits a crime, do they both go to jail? What if one dates a male and the other dates a female? How many seats do they buy on a plane? Can they read the thoughts in one another's brain? With eight limbs, are they an octopus by definition? At the movies, do they pay two admissions? If they share a butt, who decides when to poo? If one of them dies, does the other die too? If one gets pregnant, are they both the kid's mom? Will they ever find two dates for the prom? Rose Clever, thank you so much. HD GA Queen, thank you so much for the gifting today. What if one gets into college and the other does not? Nation Greg, thank you. What happens if just one wants to tie the knot? Do they need one passport or two? If one of them dies, does the other one... Oh, that's the wrong one. I did that one already. If one wants to have sex, what does the other one do? Do they both get paralyzed if they share the same spine? Do they both get drunk if just one drinks wine? That was conjoined twins. So many unanswered questions. HDGA Queen, thank you so much for the sunglasses. Please make a book called... I can't make that book because it violates TikTok community guidelines. Can't talk about The Rock in the way that you would like me to talk about The Rock. It's unfortunate, but uh, HDGA Queen, thank you for sending me a concert. That was very generous of you. This Flower Flows is here. Welcome. My name is Brad Goss, and I write children's books. We are going on to the next book. I'm going to uh, read to you from the 14 of the most terrible children's books ever written. Coronavirus and Friends, The Outbreak Gang of Killer Sicknesses. Keep in mind... Uh, I'm giving out uh, a, a part in my next book to the highest gifter tonight, but I'm also giving away dead babies fridge magnets to the runner-ups. So I will mail you and, and some other merch. I'll send you some some uh, Brad Goss um, stickers and some other stickers. Um, can I make a book request for you to make? Yes, you can. Don't ask me when I'm reading a book because I won't see it. But if, if I don't see your question, uh, definitely uh, post it again. I'm not ignoring you. Uh, sometimes I just don't see them. So, um, uh, coronavirus and friends, the outbreak gang of killer sicknesses. Thank you so much. Nation Greg. Thank you so much. HDGA queen. Ebola can make your cells explode. Coronavirus means your breathing will be slowed. Swine flu comes from diseased pigs. Mumps will make your jaw look big. Polio can leave you paralyzed. SARS is a respiratory illness. One in ten people die. Measles gives you a really high fever. <clears throat> Bird flu's mortality rate will make you a believer. Yellow fever causes vomiting and fatigue. Smallpox is so serious it's in its own league. Influenza is also known as the flu. Cholera gives you more than just watery poo. No matter what, you need vaccines. And to keep your dirty little hands clean. That's uh, Coronavirus and Friends from the 14 the Most Terrible Children's Books Ever Written. My name is Brad Goss. Top gifters tonight will be given a part in my new book and uh, will be sent a dead baby's fridge magnet in the mail. 
Thanks, Nation Greg. I saw there was a new gifter. I lost it while I was reading. I would like to make sure that I follow you. So uh, if you want to make yourself known, uh, let me see if I can find you in the history here. Oh, there you are. Kali IU22. I'm already following you. Fantastic. Thank you so much for the gifts. We're going to read some children's books. I'm going to send Top Gifters a Dead Babies fridge magnet and some other merch. <clears throat> this is Creepy Creatures to Keep You Awake with Unanswered Questions. This baby has the hands of a dog. <clears throat> this ugly creature is called Feathered Frog. Purple Warrior sent a carousel. Am I following you, Purple Warrior? I follow you now. Rockstar, thank you so much for the gifting. Cockroach, whoop, let's see. What did I do here? This boy has the face of a husky. Cockroach baby smells really musky. Centipede baby was sewn from human skin. Man clown has committed so many sins. Money Man's skin is pure currency. Thank you, Purple Warrior. Squidfish lives deep down in the sea. Rabbit Man has the face of a bunny. There's a hurricane going on right now that's terrible. Three Head Girl has many thoughts. Some of them are funny. Ramhorn Lady gets a lot of headaches. Penguin Girl's mom said she's a mistake. Lady Hammerhands will beat you senseless. Spider, la Spider Lady's web will leave you defenseless. Shrimp Pork is a tasty treat. Two-headed cat never has enough to eat. Flesh-eating ladybug is super scary. Bearded baby was born this hairy. So remember, Top Gifter, tonight we'll have a cartoon drawn of them and be added to my one of my next books. I'll give you a little part in one of my next books. And Top Gifters, plural, will receive a Dead Baby's Fridge Magnet, along with some other merch from me. I have um, uh, I have these like conjoined twins acrylic pins I can send to high gifters. I have these Brad Goss acrylic pins so that you can wear them so everybody knows you're my bitch. Um, and of course, Dead Baby's um, Fridge Magnets. Who's your favorite Spider-Man? My favorite Spider-Man is... Are you asking about the movie Spider-Mans or the comic book Spider-Mans? I gotta know the I gotta know that one. Big Carousel. Holy, thank you so much, Purple Warrior. I appreciate the love. You definitely want to be in my next book. Uh, or you want one of these Dead Babies Fridge Magnets. Or you want a... Uh, Conjoin Twins pin, or you want a Brad Goss pin, or I also have, let me show you what else I have. Can I show you what else I have? I got some other stuff I'll share with you. I got these, uh, I'll show you. I'll show you. So I have these uh, Brad Goss stickers available that I can send you. I have uh, Wealthy Corgi stickers. This is a thing I did a while ago. I'm, I'm getting more Dead Babies merch in. Um, I also have, wow, thank you, Purple Warrior. I also have these coronavirus emoji stickers um, that I can send out. So um, if, you, if you are a high gifter today, if you've been gifting me in the live stream and you want me to send you a, a little care package, just send me your address and I'll make sure you get some stuff. How does that sound? I'll make sure you get some stuff and you'll be happy with the stuff you get. Um, I have like 50 of these, um, uh, uh, dead babies fridge magnets. 
I think they're the coolest things. And the funny thing is, is my fridge doesn't actually take magnets, so I can't use them. <laughs> uh, my favorite movie, Spider-Man, uh, probably Tobey Maguire. Uh, HDGA Queen, thank you so much for the carousel. Uh, so yes, High Gifters this evening will receive free merch from me. High, super High Gifters, uh, definitely multiple. Uh, what happened? My mother-in-law passed away this morning and I was living with us and was living with us. So I feel like being kind. Thank you, Purple Warrior. Um, whoever uh, your mother-in-law is, I would be happy to put her in the book. So uh, in, my, in one of my next books, if you want to send me a picture of her, we can, uh, we can make sure she shows up in a book. Um, just DM me after this and I will remember you. And uh, let's make it happen. We'll put your mother-in-law in the book. And I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, write a book called Uncle Steve's Knows... I can't write that book because it goes against TikTok's uh, community guidelines. Yeah, definite love to you, Purple Warrior. So, um, thank you. T there's my birthday. Can you send my name, Gonzalez? Gonzalez, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We're going to read another book here. We are going to read another book. <clears throat> Daddy-daughter date night. It's not what it seems. Mom's getting ready for her girls' night out. Nobody knows how tonight will work out. Mom, Dad's cooking skills are limited to barbecue. And when it comes to cleaning, he doesn't have a clue. It's just more convenient for dad to go out. But first, on Facebook out loud, he will shout, Daddy-daughter date night is what he proclaims. Impressing random friends online is dad's game. It's just an excuse to avoid domestic work. Or leave a messy kitchen for mom to clean like a jerk. Tonight your dad will treat you like a queen. It's just not about you. He doesn't want to cook or clean. Daddy-daughter date night is just a big farce. His Facebook responses have been pretty sparse. Now you know daddy-daughter date night is lame. Next time, you can expect more of the same. That was Daddy Daughter Nate Knight from 14 of the Most Terrible Children's Books Ever Written. Next up, we're going to read Dead Babies, Part 1, a series of short life stories. Top gifters tonight will be drawn into my next book. And we'll get Dead Babies Fridge Magnets in the mail. Trent, thank you so much for the rainbow puke. Tonight's high gifters will receive merch, all you need to do is DM me your mailing address afterwards and uh, remind me that you were a high gifter. I will take a screenshot at the end that shows me who the top gifters are. Whoever shows up on that screenshot will get stuff from me. So thank you so much if you are gifting. Thank you so much if you're just hanging out because I'm here to read books to you. Whether you have stuff to give me or not, I have stuff to give you, okay? That's how I roll. My name is Brad Goss. Welcome to my basement. This is where I keep uh, over 300,000 children and they help me. They're my focus group to help me decide which books to write next, which direction to go in with my books. I am a uh, internationally renowned, renowned children's entertainer. Uh, Trent, thank you so much for the rainbow puke. I am double checking. I am definitely following you. Thank you. I follow back everyone who gives me gifts on my live streams uh, because I appreciate yo you appreciating my particular uh, style of art, which is writing books for children like Dead Babies, a series of short life stories. Sandy was killed in a tragic fire. Beth was poisoned with a pacifier. 
I can't show you the next two pages because they violate TikTok community guidelines, unfortunately. That's how it that's how it happens here. They just they make rules and I have to follow them. So you can't see those pages here on TikTok, but you can see them on my YouTube channel and you can see them uh, if you buy the book. Jackson was left to die in an alley. A tornado is what killed baby Sally. Sean was killed in a massive car crash. Tony died of measles. They thought it was a rash. Sonia fell asleep on the tracks. A nuclear explosion is what killed Max. Jenny took too many of Dad's sleeping pills. Sammy was sold for his organs to cover Dad's bills. Fiona was left to die in an abandoned house. Falling into the pool, that's what killed Klaus. Uh, my name's Brad Goss. I've said it before, but I there's always new people joining. So, you know, I have to repeat myself. A lot of people think my last name is Goss. But they're wrong. It's Goss. Today's highest gifters will be drawn into one of my next books. You uh, will choose whether it's yourself or some friend of yours, someone you'd love that you want to be included in my next story. I will have them drawn into the book. How cool is that? Uh, that's for top gifters tonight. And I'm also giving away these dead baby fridge magnets. I will mail them to you. All you have to do is give me lots of gifts and send me your address and I'll mail you some merch. I also have uh, conjoined twins acrylic pins, highly popular right now, highly popular. Donkey Bear, the story of inbreeding. Sometimes your mom is something more. She may be your cousin, which means therefore you're inbred because your parents related. A brother and sister who shouldn't have mated. Billy Bob was born from siblings who fucked. Cindy Lou's parents, cousins of bad conduct. Skier's mom was also his granny. Mary Grace was birthed from her dad's sister's fanny. You'll be okay because you were mixed. A donkey and bear. It started with a kiss. Inbreeding began with kings and with queens. Trying to protect the purity of their genes. My name is Brad Goss. You're in my basement. That's right. You're in my basement. The next book we're going to read is Don't Bathe with Uncle Joe, Setting Boundaries with Adults. I'm going to put these dead babies... Um, Fridge magnets in the mail for anybody who is a high gifter today on this live stream and the highest gifters today will be drawn into my next book. You will choose who I draw into the book. Thank you, Trent, for the gifts. Damn, you wrote a book about my life. Are you the Uncle Joe? What happens? What happens? Um, again, thank you for joining me. Do you have any questions I can answer before we move on to the next segment of today? which will involve more book reading. My name is Brad Goss. You're in my basement. And welcome. Elizabeth Afton Girl, hello there. Hello to you. Uh, write a book called Don't, Brink, Don't Drink Grandpa's Apple Juice. It's, it, it's, a, it's a good funny title, but it doesn't, it, it's hard to make it 20 pages. That's the problem, right? It's a good, it's a good thing. What is the highest gift so far? How do you find that out? Is there a way to find that out? Let's see. How do we find that out? I don't know how to find that out. I think it just tells me at the end who the highest gifts are. Let's see. Uh, gift. 
let's see. It doesn't. T it doesn't tell me. It doesn't tell me who the highest gifters are. Isn't that weird? Um, I I don't know. I I, I don't know how to tell. Does anybody know how to tell? It just tells me at the end. That's how I know. I take a screenshot at the end and it gives me a list of the top gifters. And I screenshot it and then I can, then I remember who you are. So if you're just joining, high gifters will be drawn into or have a, uh, a cartoon drawn of them and be added to one of my next books. And uh, I'm giving away dead babies fridge magnets. I will mail these to you if you're a high gifter in this live stream. Uh, and I will send you conjoined twins uh, acrylic pins if you want. You know, if that's the kind of thing you're into. Uh, Lexi Bori, thank you very much for the I'm Very Rich. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Um, and I will send you... Um, um, Elizabeth, that's okay if you can't gift me anything. I'm glad you're here and hanging out with us and uh, allowing me to entertain you along with all the children that are here in my basement right now with their mouth taped shut because uh, it's quiet time. My name is Brad Goss and I write children's books. The next book we are going to read is called... Don't bathe with Uncle Joe. Don't forget, I am sending out dead babies fridge magnets to the top gifters today. Don't bathe with Uncle Joe setting boundaries with adults. Uncle Joe got fired at work. He said because his boss is a jerk. Uncle Joe has allegations. Mom and Dad have reservations. Uncle Joe is staying here. Uncle Joe might offer you beer. Careful not to take a sip. Roofies are what he might slip. Uncle Joe likes having baths. Uncle Joe might touch your ass. Careful not to oops, keep your distance from his hands. Even when he makes demands. When in doubt, you can just say no. And never bathe with Uncle Joe. My name is Brad Goss. You're in my basement. We're telling children's stories, and I'm giving away dead babies fridge magnets to people who give me gifts in the live stream. So far, I am getting uh, a few gifts from a few awesome people. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you supporting my type of art. Farah, I'm a single mom, and my pole broke, so I can't make that cash for you. Farah, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you in many ways. If I donate a thousand, can you get a book? Uh, can you get a book? Yeah, sure. What's uh, is that? What are you talking about? A thousand dollars? What are we talking? A thousand what? Uh, mommy's toys. Yeah. Yes, daddy. Any, any questions I can answer before I move on to uh, the next book that I'm going to read? The next book I'm going to read is not part of the 14 of the Most Terrible Children's Books. I'm going to go get it. Uh, but I wanted to see if anybody has any questions. Well, I love you too, that weeb. Mommy's Toys book idea. That is uh, definitely a, um, a book that I, that I can't really do on TikTok. Um, does not fall into community guidelines. I love you back, humble the nugget. Can we get an office tour? I can't, I, I have done, if you, I've done an office tour on, um, on TikTok before, so you can go through my feed and you can find that. Um, and I'll probably do some, uh, something on, on, um, YouTube soon, 
but I got a few more squares to fill behind me. I've got some stuff that I've ordered that I'm waiting to come in and then I'll do, I'll do that. Caleb wants me to set up an OnlyFans. Um, I have considered it. Um, I just don't know how many of you really want me to do that. Cause I feel like once I go down that road, uh, you know, I don't know. My day was great. Thank you. I'd buy it. I'd like raccoons says they would subscribe to my OnlyFans. So, um, thank you. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to grab another book. I'm not leaving, but I won't be in the screen for a moment. So, don't go anywhere. I'm just going to go over here where I have my bookshelf. And I'm going to grab another book to read to you. Welcome. You're in my basement. My name is Brad Goss, and I write children's books. They're not for everybody, but if you're here, they're probably for you. I am going to get a couple of books now that I'm looking here because I'm seeing some books that you might enjoy. Here we go. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for that book and this book and uh, that one's, we've already done that one. We've already done that one. We already done, and okay, we'll bring these ones over here. So the next books that I am going to share with you are um, You People, Cinnamon, A Horse, forced into the sex trade and STDs and you learning from the animals at the zoo. My name is Brad Goss. You're in my basement. We are live entertaining children around the world with children's books, songs, and dead babies fridge magnets to the highest gifters on my live stream. Thank you for joining me. Do you have any questions I can answer before I continue reading my literary classics that should be passed on for generations to come? Uh, I'm seeing another gifter here. Thank you so much, Mason. What is your name? Mason Coffee 52. Thank you for the TikToks. I thoroughly appreciate. Uh, Glue, my books are not expensive. My books are $10 each. And um, my 14 in one book is like 50 bucks. And so it's like $140 worth of books for 50 bucks. So, uh, and you can get a free book on my website, bradsy.com, B-R-A-D-S-Y dot com. That is where you can find a free download of my book that Amazon banned. So you can get that for free, okay? So highest gifters today will be drawn into my next book. I will draw you or whoever you want me to draw into your next book. Uh, I will mail high gifters a dead baby's fridge magnet along with uh, some other cool merch. I have these conjoined twins acrylic pins. I have Brad Goss acry acrylic pins. I have Brad Goss stickers. I have coronavirus stickers, all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, so thanks for joining again. My name is Brad Goss. You're in my basement. Cinnamon, a horse forced into the sex trade. Cinnamon is a special horse. He's always happy to run, of course. Cinnamon wins all the races. He puts smiles on people's faces. Cinnamon has a good career. Retirement will soon be near. Until Cinnamon broke his leg. And now he will be forced to peg. 
Lady horses all day long. Cinnamon will be used for his dong. As he gets ready for his daily jerk, he realizes that this is sex work. Once he was the star of the show, Cinnamon has become a hoe. Cinnamon is available on Amazon today. My name is Brad Goss. You're in my basement. The next book I'm going to read to you is called You People. And we'll get to that in just a minute. Can I answer any questions for you? And I should remind you that if you're here with me now, uh, we are reading children's books. You're in my basement. And I am giving top gifters uh, a chance to be in my... Well, I'm giving top gifters uh, 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 the... Uh, uh, I will draw you or have you drawn into my next book. You will be included in my next book as a cartoon character of some kind. We will figure that out, whether it's you or someone that you want to give the book as a gift to. They will be included in the book. Uh, and I'm giving away dead babies fridge magnets. I will mail them to you if you're a top gifter. So all you have to do, I have like 50 of these. So all you have to do is be a top, one of the top gifters in my screenshot at the end of my live stream. And uh, I'll send you some stuff. Are these books for children's books for adults or adult books for children? Yes. Yes. Okay. You people, acceptable ways to use that phrase. You people need to get back. This building's going to blow. You people can't barbecue in the graveyard, you know. You people can't put your recycling in the trash. You people shouldn't carry around that much cash. You people go out for dinner a lot. You people can't park here in this spot. You people really get into your sports. You people know this place doesn't allow shorts. You people can't walk your dogs in this park. You people can't swim here. Beware of sharks. You people need to quarantine for 14 days. You people are going to have a three hour wait. You people have room for just one more. You people can once again use this door. You people is available on Amazon. My name is Brad Goss. I write children's books. You're in my basement. Welcome. High gifters tonight will be drawn into one of my next books. I will make you a character. You'll get a page or a couple of pages or somehow we'll figure out how to integrate you into the story depending on what it is you want. Whether it's you or a loved one or a hated one or a pet, I will draw them into my next book. Can I answer any questions before I continue down the road of entertaining you and all the children in my basement? I'm going to read more. Uh, I got these uh, sunglasses uh, from Blue Blocker. That's where they're from. <clears throat> okay, bye. Sorry you have to leave. I have about 302,000 children here in my basement. Uh, their mouths are taped shut right now because it's quiet time! STDs and you, learning from the animals at the zoo, My name is Brad Goss. You're in my basement. I'm reading children's books and we're having a good time.
Dad had unprotected butt sex with a strange man. His visit to the doctor was not planned. So he took you to the zoo so he could explain. Gonorrhea causes yellow discharge and pain. Remember when mom brought home that stranger? She got the AIDS not knowing the danger. That unprotected sex can bring to you. So wrap up your junk, whatever you do. Chlamydia may stop you from having kids. Crabs, aka pu pubic lice, is easy for you to rid. Syphilis starts out as a few painless sores. HPV can end up being so much more. Also called genital warts, it may lead to cancer. Herpes has no cure. Now you have the answers. About STDs, so now you know to always wear condoms when you sleep with the hoes. STDs and You is available on Amazon, Megster, and Goose Guy. Thank you for the uh, gifting. I am making sure that I'm following both of you back. We are now friends. You can direct message me. Uh, thank you very much for the gifts. I am going to include the High Gifters tonight into one of my next books, and High Gifters will also receive Dead Baby's Fridge Magnets in the mail. I will mail these to you. You just have to send me your address. I'll put them in an envelope. I'll throw some stickers and some other stuff in there, and uh, I'll send it to you. All right. We're going to read another book. How does that sound? Are these books actually... For kids, or are they satire? Yes. Why does daddy hit mommy? Yes. I love your books. Megster, I love you. Thank you for your gifting. Uh, I'm glad we follow each other now. Uh, and then you can message me and I can send you some cool merch. Uh, just like anybody who supports me. I will gladly send you some cool merch if I don't include you in one of my books. I'm going to get another book here. Let's see... What is going to stand out next? What is going to stand out next? How dark should we get? I mean, should we get really dark? Or should we get, like, half dark? What do you think? What do you think? Let's go. How dark should we go? Let's see. I'm going to get... Well, that's dark. That one's dark. I can't even show that one. It's so dark. All right, I got two more books to bring you, and they both involve babies. So, can you make moms only fans, but the parents are Asian lesbians? I will work on that. Yeah, I'm gonna work on that. Um, okay, so uh, my children are on a strict diet of cough drops and breadcrumbs. Why do you give them cough drops? There's too much sugar. Just stick to the breadcrumbs. A little bread, a little water, you're good. That's all you need. These kids down here, the only thing I feed them is knowledge. I got a ton of kids here in my basement. You're in my basement with me. And all the kids down here, that's the only thing they consume is knowledge. Ours, baby. The only child your stepmom loves. My name is Brad Goss and I write children's books. You're in my basement. And it's story time. Cupcakes are so good. I love you too. Your new stepmom seems nice. She makes your dad happy. But she wants more from him. It'll make your life crappy. She prayed every day for someone, please, maybe. To deliver a man who could give her a baby. Your dad has old sperm, but your stepmom can still carry a baby to term. Meet your new brother, Bill. 
Our's baby is what your stepmom proclaims in just a few days. She won't want to hear your names. She has a new baby with her DNA. So go get a job right now, today. Stepmom says it's time for you to move out. Now you know what Hours Baby is actually about. Hours Baby is available on Amazon. My name is Brad Goss. You're in my basement. I am almost done with my live stream because I'm going to have to order a buttload of Indian food because um, that's what I do. I eat buttloads of Indian food and then I have butt problems. Uh, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the story. My name is Brad Goss. You're in my basement. I'm just uh, checking on a couple things here before I continue. Yes, Indian food, 10 out of 10. I love some delicious, spicy Indian food. I love you and your books. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Violet. Remember, top gifters tonight will receive dead babies fridge magnets. And Top Gifter will be drawn into my next book. My name is Brad Goss. I write children's books. Makeup lover, I am not. Love you and love your books. Thank you so much. Do you eat butter chicken? I don't eat butter chicken. Hey, Terry, what's happening? Welcome to my show. I'm glad you're here. Terry is one of my oldest friends. And when I say oldest, I mean we go back a long way. Um, <clears throat> you look like Lars Ulrich if he turned pop. Um, I have a little more hair than Lars. I am receding, definitely. But I have a little more hair than Lars. So... Can you do why daddy hits mommy next? I... Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to do uh, Dead Babies next. So I don't eat butter chicken. Uh, I'm glad to see you. We go back 31 years, my friend. We do go back 31 years. That's right. That's a long time. That's a long time. Okay. So um, what do I get? My, fav my favorite dish at an Indian restaurant, besides like the fried stuff, like the pakoras and the, you know, that stuff. My favorite is, um, it's, it's basic. It's, it's so basic, but my favorite dish is aloo gobi. Like so good. And then I like chana masala. I like, um, um, Uh, I like a couple of other things. I can't remember them off the top of my head. So, hello again, fellow basement children. That's right. My name is Brad Goss. You're in my basement. And I am giving away dead babies' fridge magnets to the highest gifters today. And I am allowing uh, one of you, one of the highest gifters, to be included in my next book. I will have a cartoon drawn of you or your loved one or your hated one and put you in my next book. Terry says she makes a mean chana masala. Dead Babies 2. A series of short life stories. Farah. Best selling offer. Say, say it, damn it. Say my name. Farah. I'm going to say your name again, Farah. Lisa G, I should put you in the next book. Lisa G came up with the line pushing up daisies for the song Dead Babies. Lisa G's here. She's kind of famous because she helped me come up with pushing up daisies in one of my last live streams. So welcome, Lisa G. Everybody should follow her. Mira was trapped underneath the ice. Sam had a fatal accident falling off his bike. Kurt was chewed up and eaten by his dog. 
Digging through the trash is how we lost Doug. Mark slipped and fell on a fresh wet floor. Death by electrocution killed baby Thor. Eva died choking on her favorite toy. My name is Brad Goss and I'm a best-selling author, which is kind of true, but I like to say my name is Brad Goss and I write children's books. A botched surgery caused the death of this boy. Mandeep was killed in a big house fire. This girl was crushed underneath a car tire. Theo drank too much household poison. Constipation and sepsis is how we lost Royston. Mary died inside the washing machine. This is the dead baby's fridge magnet that I am giving away. If you want uh, to be one of the high gifters on this stream, all you have to do is start dropping some coins in here. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know who's given what. I haven't been keeping track. Uh, it will tell me at the end, but I will mail you a dead baby's um, fridge magnet. Mary died inside the washing machine. A leg hold trap ended the life of baby Eugene. Alice was found in a puddle face down. Chuck crashed his car on his way downtown. Elaine fell down and cracked open her head. Nobody knows how Dave wound up dead. Helen had a tragic fall down the back stairs. Suffocation by plastic bag is how we lost baby Blair. Dead Babies 2 is available on Amazon. My name is Brad Goss. You're in my basement. Thank you, Megster613 for the generous gifting of rainbow pukes. I highly appreciate all of your support. So why do you do dark humor stories just asking? That's what the voices in my head tell me to do, Jailer. Dave drank too much bleach and died. That's pretty good. I, I, I am working on a Dead Babies 3. You saw Conjoined, two, conjoined Twins 2 today. So those babies are weak. It is the survival of the fittest, the mighty uh, Spearton three. Uh, so some babies make it and some babies don't. The strong ones survive, but the, uh, the not so strong ones, they don't survive, right? They wind up in my books and, uh, or they wind up on your fridge because you can get a dead baby's fridge magnet. All you have to do is drop some gifts in my live stream and uh, basically enough to cover the cost of a stamp and I'll be happy. Uh, and uh, I'll send you one of these in the mail. Dead Babies 3, I am working on yes. Uh, Lisa G, thank you for the finger heart. If your baby drinks bleach, is it natural selection at that point? Absolutely it is. Please say, hey, Maggie. Hey, Maggie, what's up? Welcome to my basement. You're in my basement. Can you read a book for us? Yes. I can and will. Um, I will uh, definitely do that. Yes. I am going to have to go soon uh, because I have to order some dinner. Dinner is important. It's one of the three most important meals of the day. I really wonder how you do these. How many parents bought these? A lot of parents buy my books. There's no question. You should make a book with all the dead baby books in it and call it the Dead Baby Series. It's a good idea. Uh, I definitely should do that. Baby Lisa was trampled by a herd of sheep. Brad fell out of his dad's Jeep. Those are good lines, Lisa. Um, can you say happy birthday, Bowman? Happy birthday, Bowman. Welcome to my basement. My name is Brad Goss. You're in my basement. And we are here entertaining children with books.
Lisa G, thank you for the sun cream. I'm going to grab another book. When you see me leave the screen, it doesn't mean that I'm gone. It just means I'm out of range while I look for a book to read to you. I'm not allowed to read My Racist Grand anymore as much as I would like to read My Racist Grand. I can't. Tonight's last book will be Mom's OnlyFans, New Beginnings from Difficult Choices. My name is Brad Goss. And you're in my basement. Mom and Dad were fighting too much. So Dad packed his bags. He said she was such. A bitch all the time are the words that he spoke. Now they're divorced and he left your mom broke. Difficult choices your mommy must make. But she's a strong lady, so make no mistake. She went out shopping for sexy costumes, then put a backdrop and lights in her room. And then she picked up a fancy new cam. Yep, you guessed it, mom's on OnlyFans. She's making videos in various clothes. What she does on meetups, nobody knows. But your mommy no longer struggles with rent. Her account has made it to the top 5%. Mom's OnlyFans is available on Amazon. Again, hi Megan. Is it Megan or is it Megan? I'm thinking it's Megan. Hopefully I said it right. Hi Megan. Hi, Megan. Hi, Megan. I'm going to read one of your books to my three-year-old cousin. You should be reading it to them in the womb and every week until they're old enough to comprehend what they're being taught. My name is Brad Goss. Top gifters tonight will receive dead baby's fridge magnets. Uh, and top gifter tonight will be drawn into my next book or one of my next books. You will become a character. Oh, my October trip isn't happening. Um, that's bad news. The books teach people not to be stupid. Um, they teach people a lot of things. They teach children. It's Megan. Megan? <laughs> I switched jobs and can't get time off. That's sad news. My pet demon loves your books. That's good. I like demons. I have many of them inside me right now. Megan, please say, I can't say that because I don't play Fortnite. So I can't help you there, Bowman. Okay, last chance. Top gifters tonight receive dead babies washing machine or dead babies fridge magnet and a uh, the top gifter will be drawn into my next book. Uh, thank you, Z Cool Kid, for sending me an I'm Very Rich. I will make sure that I am following you back because I don't follow you back yet. Everybody who gives gifts to Brad Goss gets followed back. You, uh, along with the other top gifters, if you are among the top gifters, will receive a dead baby's uh, fridge magnet. And uh, the top gifter, top, top gifter, will be drawn into one of my next books. Uh, either yourself or someone who you uh, choose, someone you want to uh, have drawn in. Paco, thank you for the uh, gift. I am now following you back as well. I follow back everyone who gives me gifts. So if you want me to follow you back, um, just drop a gift in this live stream and I'll follow you back. It's that easy. Uh, and if you're a top, top gifter, you will be uh, drawn into one of my next books. And if you're a gifter, gifter, I will send you a dead baby's fridge magnet. X Lotta X sent a rainbow puke. Thank you, X Lotta X. I have, I am now following you back as well. Um, can you pay, can you say, I don't know who those people are, Bowman. So I don't, I can't say that. I could say what's popping, but that's not really a Brad Goss thing to say. Do you have an online merch store? 
absolutely uh, bradgoss.redbubble.com. If you go to bradzy.com, my, my website, and click on merch, it'll take you to my merch store. I have a whole section of Dead Babies stuff. I even have Dead Babies posters that you can buy. This is the smallest size you can buy, 11 by 17. They actually come in like a four foot by three foot size as well. Um, or you can order these, mer these um, uh, yeah, I have a Dead Babies backpack. I have Dead Babies leggings, yoga pants. I have Dead Babies mini skirts. Um, all kinds of Dead Babies merch. I play Call of Duty, Bowman. So, all right, I'm going to call it a day. Thanks for joining my live stream. Uh, thanks for being in my basement. My name is Brad Goss. It's been fun entertaining you uh, along with all the children in my basement. Uh, I do have my Racist Grand merch on that uh, page, so definitely go check out my Redbubble. Thanks again for being on the live stream. I appreciate you. Remember to follow me on YouTube because I won't be here forever. <clears throat> I will probably lose my TikTok account before long. So follow me on, uh, just click on, go to my profile. There's a link to my Instagram and a link to my YouTube. Make sure you've subscribed to me in those places uh, because I also do stuff on YouTube that I can't get away with on TikTok. TikTok's very strict about their community guidelines. So if you want to see more uncensored content, YouTube, Brad Goss on YouTube. Okay, thanks for joining me. Uh, bye, Terry. Bye, Lisa. Bye. Uh, thank you to everyone who was so generous today with gifting. I am going to end this live stream, take a screenshot of the highest gifters, and uh, call it a day. Thank you.